ever since becoming Patty certified in Cozumel in 2019, we've fallen even more in love with the ocean. And now, not just include diving as part of our trip, but actively seek out the best dive sites in the world. We told you last week that a cheap $70 round trip flight brought us here, but if that's how, then diving is why. The Virgin Islands sit among the Puerto Rico Trench, formed by the Caribbean and North American tectonic plates scraping by each other as one slowly moves east and one slowly moves west. The trench has a depth of over 28,000 feet, which is just shy of the height of Mount Everest. One small part of this huge trench is right off the north coast of St. Croix and is known simply as the Wall. We're taking you there in today's video, as well as our first ever pitch black night dive at the pier. Um, but that's only if we make it through the night. We're Tim and Finn, and you're watching Tripped. Previously on Tripped. Hopefully that means that it's safe, except for our room is lower than where the chairs are being stacked. <laughs> oh boy. Well, thanks, John, and good evening. Tonight's developing story, the largest waves the island of St. Croix has ever seen. Guests of this very hotel concerned they won't make it through the night without flooding. Well, John, what we're seeing for the very first time is the largest waves of the entire session we've been here, John. But I'm also going to describe other things that I'm seeing as well. Beach chairs have been fully covered by sand. Guests sweating, flooding in their hotel rooms. Now, what also is going on behind me, John, is perhaps an imminent storm. We will stay tuned and keep you updated with High Tide. Back over to you. Okay, do you want the good news or the good news? The good news is we survived the night. And it's fun to watch kind of the, what the sand did overnight, but everyone survived. And then the good news is that we are moving rooms today. We're going diving in the dark, but because that sounds too scary, we're just calling it a sunset dive. The Frederickstead Pier is a 1,500 foot long deep water cruise ship port located on the west side of the island. Cruise ships are somewhat infrequent to St. Croix and of course not existent in 2021. At this dive site, you take your gear through the heart of town walk the plank and giant stride right off the side into 20 feet of water. Can I go ahead and launch here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, are you excited? What? Okay. Oh. But mhm. Mm go ahead and jump in. <laughs> Wait, but grab Scuba baby. Okay. It's so warm. Do it, scuba baby. We descended down to the bottom first to kick out to what would be around 30 to 50 feet of water, following the huge coral filled columns. The 
The further the sun set and the darker it got, the more the ocean became alive. until you couldn't even see your hand right in front of you. Oh my God. That yeah, was so that was sick. <laughs> How'd that first night dive go? <laughs> um, yeah, it was awesome. It was not scary. That was really cool. Can we do? Yeah, the turtles were, oh. the coral was. Are we just swimming in the shore here? Yeah, I think so. Oh. We saw so much down we there. We saw so much. We were able to be like oh. so hyper focused on what you're looking at. I think you the dove of... the best that you've oh, done because yeah. you were hyper focused. You weren't like <laughs> buoyancy all over the place. You were just like. <laughs> chill like yeah floating. it was just so you're only focused on where your beam of light is going and you just see all these small stuff you miss when you're just regularly diving you know i was gonna give them that the coral on the um pier that like, was so colorful maybe almost like the colors are truer looking yeah in the dark well, that's it. i wonder it was, like, if the it... reddest red and the purplest purple <laughs> <laughs> you look like you just pulled off a heist or something. Yeah. <laughs> just like this. <laughs> well, I was underwater and now I'm in the <laughs> <laughs> One of the great things about St. Croix is there are reefs everywhere. Staying at Cottages by the Sea was perfect for us because taking a few steps from our room, we could snorkel some of the best spots on the island. but it was finally time for what we came here for. First, since we were gonna be gone for several hours, we wanted a better place for Pepper than locked up in an Airbnb. We met up with Brandon, a new friend we'd made on the island, who also is on the Rover app if you're looking for someone to watch your dog while you go diving in St. Croix. We positioned Pepper with her airplane kennel and a leash to hang out in a dive shop while we went out to explore the ocean. If you're new to scuba diving, there's different types of dives that you can go on. We learned in Cozumel on a drift dive. So you go down, you kind of ride the current out, and you're not doing a lot of swimming. There's a kick out dive where you just leave shore and kick out to a dive site. What we haven't done, and what here on St. Croix is known for, is wall diving. Cue Tim's fact. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here on the internet. Uh, the internet says that the like the trench goes and the wall goes over 13,000 feet deep. But there's two caveats to that. Number one, we're only gonna go up to 100 feet because we're baby divers. And number two, you can't believe everything you read online, but this sounds pretty factual. I can't imagine if it's really gonna be like, you see the wall and then it just like keeps going. Cause every dive we've been on, we've seen the bottom and we've basically like dropped to the bottom. The GoPro sticks are floaties today instead of ones that'll sink. So don't stress too much. Oh just yeah, in case. I didn't think about that. Oh, good call. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> this might be like scarier than the night dive. Let's see.
first wall dive. Like, that was so cool. That was the brainiest brain coral I've ever seen. And, like, we just came over, and then all of a sudden, we're like, what? <laughs> what is this? We were, like, humming, and then it was like, kick, 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 and then it was like, oh my gosh. It was, it was I, that was incredibly accurate. Hi, Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> Pepper, you met everybody in town, didn't you? <laughs> We're gonna need to bring these flowers with us. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Are we a food blog now? Mm. This diving makes you so hungry. <laughs> this is a lovely frame. <laughs> well, I know. I was so focused on the sandwich. And then we're just doing this anyway, so what does it matter? It is our last day here on St. Croix, our last day here at the wonderful Fred, our last day seeing this guy over there. We're off. It's time to go to St. Thomas. To experience the flavors of all of the different Virgin Islands, because we got a good feeling here on St. Croix, and but we need to explore them all. So, it was cozy over here. We did a lot. Yeah, kind of like people live here, you know? It's like more like long-term, chill vibes. Yeah. I'm so. thinking St. Thomas is going to be quite different. Because when we've asked people here, we're like, what's it going to be like over there? It's different. It's different. So we're going to go see how it's different. So come with us now on this exciting 15 minute flight up there, which you'll have to wait till next week to see. Come on, Tim. Let's go. Uh -huh.